See y'all, man. Y'all going crazy with the um the speed trap type beats or whatever, man. Um, you know, if you look up on YouTube, you would see that everybody's making speed trap type beats. It's still fairly new. It's a fairly new subgenre, but we definitely appreciate y'all because you know we've been making these types of beats for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all putting our names on here because you know this is our style. This is what we pushing. You feel me? Speed trap on rock. And so um, did I will ride like you know what I'm saying? Um, so let's get straight into it now. The first thing I will tell y'all before I start, the way I do it, I have a template. I think DDOT will also has a template, but I just use mine differently. So I color code my bird calls, like my iceberg, um, my bird call three and two. Um, I don't use one for speed track beats, um, but you know, I use two and three. You can go get one, two, and three on a triple beam store. Um, we're gatekeeping the iceberg as well as that 808 that y'all always talk about. We gatekeeping that. I do got other 808s you can use, and DDOT will does too if you go cop his uh, red dot kit bundle and if if you go cop my all the kids bundle i got some shit in there for y'all um and john glick one two three and four as well as glick world and stuff like that it's a lot of good speed trap drums especially in glick guys speed trap really came about especially with that sbr 202 snare as well as the uh Glick Owens hi-hat as well as the LeBron james too that originated from john glick too a lot of the drums come from john glick too too um, the future snare um, that originated with speed trap, you know what I'm saying? The SBR 204, the uh, the Brita PG, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot in here. The FN Scar, that one is really good. The Triple Beam Drum Kit Snare Three, I don't I don't think I have that in this template, but that's really good. Um, if you look right here, can you fuck with them? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta use our sounds, the original sounds, if you wanna make the sub genre. You know what I'm saying? That's just the rule. Um, so yeah, we finna just get straight into it, man. We already a couple minutes in. Let's start on the melody. You you feel me um i got this preset that i'll be using and i just put it on mixer track 10 because i already got my preset in there um, i'm gatekeeping the girls to be preset because i'm not gonna share that i'm gonna just keep that to myself you feel me? so usually like <clears throat> usually we just go pad a lot of people say it sound like dark spin or red or something because they got a pad and shit but you know all a lot of this stuff comes from dot and that's why i appreciate him so much because he really helped me uh sharpen up my sound you know what i'm saying so And usually what I do is I use halftime. I might pitch this up and I can. No, I already sound crazy. It's a custom pad that I came up with. I don't think I'm gonna release that uh, preset. But you know the hi-hats is usually crazy. I'm gonna take that growth beat off. Well, it's usually simple but crazy at the same time. But not for real, you know what I'm saying? All my drums, I just turn them up. I just turn all my drums up. Really. Uh, we gonna use the 202. The SBR 202 snares from Glid Guy, but you can go get the Speed Trap drum kit link in the description. I'm not the one who made it, so I'm not gonna say I can just release it and give it to y'all. I cannot. I usually do my bird calls. Um, we use the we use the almond too for some of the bird calls. Y'all gotta go find that and go see which red dot that's in. I'm sure y'all find it, and I'm sure either D dot will probably mention it in his video. But you know what I'm saying concerning his kids, I'm gonna just let him break it down for y'all when he does his type that he does with speed trap. <laughs> OK, 
okay so with the iceberg um we not releasing that but we do use the iceberg in these types of beats and um for all of our bird calls that we do we use one six measurement so i see everybody else just making new little bird calls whatever do what y'all want but y'all never gonna have a real version you feel me and we gatekeeping that for a reason because a lot of people be selling sounds out of our streams and shit so it's up to y'all what y'all want to do man but just be careful you know what i'm saying we real um like we wasn't even supposed to release the bird call in the first place but you know what i'm saying it is what it is shit it just happens bro a lot of this stuff y'all would just never be able to find out because it's so tricked out and i feel like it gives a lot of people advantage to do what they want to do creatively you feel me we trying to inspire y'all to be creative y'all so y'all don't have to copy us all the time that's pretty much the explanation of all of this <laughs> I will format my beats up to 48 bars you know what i'm saying um and then it starts over the beat will cut out but uh, um a four bar right here right and then my bird call uh it, it'll go in usually for 16 bars and leave for eight bars and then come back again my iceberg the same thing except the intro doesn't have anything whatever the bird call threes i usually variate them so i let them come in in here and do their thing and then I'll delete this one and make it come back in here. Sometimes it's random or whatever, but I don't really care. I go Brian James, I bring it in right here and then leave it right here. And, and that's pretty much it. And I just restart the beat. And then a triple bean tag, I shorten it and make it say stay on the block. And that's it. Then I'm the one who made the uh the stay on the block tag. And then usually um as you can see right here is three minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's how much how, that's how long they last. That's how long I want to speak. I be so fast, you know. So here go. Here's a final preview. part um i'm finna get this over to d dot will man he's like the originator of all of this shit he came up with the name i just pushed the sound with my own sounds you know what i'm saying it's some more sounds we got to use like the um i use the shells now and the, the glick one from glick world and the new speed trap c4 but the original sounds you know what i'm saying that's that's the original um speed trap sound right there is the c4 disarm i just don't really use it like that no more but i use it sometimes on some certain little beats or whatever but anyway i'm finna hand this over to my boy d dot will you know what i'm saying triple beam shit we the ones that came up with this genre so i hope you appreciate one of the ghosts of the trap game when it comes to these beats man without further ado i'm gonna give it up to him let's get it what up y'all this dot basically uh, i'm just picking up where rot left off so everything he was saying i'm gonna add a little bit more detail to it so uh, i got a loop loaded up already we just gonna get to it real quick but basically you know same hi-hats he did pretty much 
So pretty much with speed trap beats, you gotta have that bounce, bro. If you ain't got that bounce, it's not really a speed trap beat. You know what I'm saying? We don't use too much triplet when it comes to our, uh, you know what I'm saying, our speed trap beats. It's like pretty much regular measurement, but it's the bounce, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we might throw some extra, you know, stuff in there. Let's speed it up a little bit. That's the bounce right there, for real, for real. Like that hi-hat bounce right there. Uh, I want to use another, the other snare, FN scar snare. That's rock snare. You know what I'm saying? That bounce right there, you could already hear the bounce. Basically, like with the speed trap genre, we do random shit as we go, so it just be random. Everybody know that my style is already random, and also with the speed trap beat, you kind of want to just like improv, like you just want to just do random stuff, like here and there. But it has to go. If it's gonna be off beat or anything like that, it has to still flow. Like you can't just throw somebody off real bad. And then another thing is with this type of melody with speed trap beats, like we usually do like a straight through evil chord. Sometimes we might get melodic with it, but like it's way better when it's just like a straight through melody um that just comes from my trap style that i created back in like 2013 and 2014 when i used to do the straight through melodies and stuff like that the straight through pads and all that a lot of people had got that from me so like basically you know our 808s is low-key still like they still go straight through also and it kind of give it like a monotone like style to it so so what we gonna do right now is we gonna add the bird calls in there. So the speed trap, it ain't nothing without the bird calls. You know what I'm saying? One thing that Rock said, you gotta have it on one six beat up here at the top. Uh, I know some people do it over here, but I do it overall on my whole project. You gotta have a one six measurement when you're doing the bird calls or it ain't gonna sound right. That's the number one key. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get to the bird calls right now. Like... 
could be random with it, you know what I'm saying? As long as you got it on one six, but you gotta land it in these in these first two squares, you know what I'm saying? In this area because it has half time on it, so like you gotta land it in between those two squares every time, but not with the iceberg. The iceberg, it don't matter. You can add as many bird calls as you want to it. Like, you know, I, I usually have three different sets. Like this. I put my scissors in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been using my scissors for maybe about like five, six years. I don't know how long I've been using it. Or we'll use Rot C4. You know what I'm saying? I'll just throw it in there. Sometimes I like to do a lower pitch, but that kind of like just add to the speed trap style. Usually Rot was using that. I started like you know, using it in my beats too. But you know, it's still cool. It's the same, it's basically the same, you know. We be using each other's style and that's basically what Speed Trap is. We just like threw each other's style, you know, in the same beat and just sped it up. You know what I'm saying? Cause me and Rock Chemistry is like hella crazy with the beats and shit. Another thing, usually when I make my Speed Trap beats, I usually just use one 808. Sometimes I'll use two, I'll use two different ones. For instance, Flat Ball. The Flat Ball is from the uh, Red Dot. I don't know which one it is, but it's from one of those, but it's a good, 808 it's like a beautiful 808 i'll usually split it up you know what i'm saying so i just split it now i'm gonna lay it out real quick usually i like to have all this together i already know what i want right here bam usually i'll have like this one right here so usually on my first pattern right here i don't have no bird calls the second one i'll put like one the top one and then the third one i put the bottom two and then the last one, I'll put the top two. Most of the time now, I only use two bird calls, but sometimes I'll use three just to make it a little more dramatic and more crazy. You know, I don't give a fuck if niggas rap on this shit or not, nigga. Like, because nigga, we just making beats. We having fun, you know what I'm saying? But we created this style, you feel me? So we could do whatever the fuck we want. Usually I like to do a drop. I'll probably like drop it like right here. <laughs> There you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a push and pull effect to it. You know what I'm saying? If it don't have that push and pull effect to the speed trap beat, it's not a speed trap beat. You know what I'm saying? Triple B, we stay on the block, nigga. man so that's basically that's literally how you make a speed trap beat it gotta have that bounce it gotta be with our kits me and rock kits we have so many kits that we put out uh separately and together but really you know the speed trap kit it has everything you need it don't really have all the secret stuff but it has most of the stuff um it does have bird call presets right here so um if you buy the kit, you must read the notes in order for you to have, you gotta uh, get these certain plugins. I think it was um, Camel Space and you gotta have Shaper Box. Uh, I don't know which one. It's in the notes though when you get it. But uh, you can always make your own speed trap uh, beats with your own drums, but usually it'd be like mine and his. I still make uh, speed trap beats with my own kits or Rot's kits, you know, by themselves. But as long as it sound close to what we got going on, 
You know what I'm saying? Then you could do that. But you got to have the essentials to it. But that's how you make a speed trap beat. Y'all follow me and Rock on, on Instagram, uh, Twitter, whatever. But most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube. Ride the Rock's YouTube and subscribe to mine. And that's pretty much it, man. Triple beam shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. I'm out of here.